Okay, before I start today's Project Arcade and Meme Setup Guide, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like so you don't miss out on upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So we're looking at Project Arcade and setting up Meme Arcade games today. So if you're new to Project Arcade, I'll leave a link in the description for the initial setup guide for Project Arcade and that will get you running with that so anyways what we're going to do then is to look at meme itself so what we're going to need to do first is a bit establish what type of meme rom set you got now of course with these front end systems in meme in itself things can get very confusing so i'm going to leave a link to the description for this page now this is retrobat and retrobat is very close indeed to project arcades now if we take a look just here at the rom set versions we'll find on the left hand side just here which core or even emulator in Project Arcade supports that ROM set. And the games I'm going to be using today are quite literally from the most recent main ROM set, which as we can see just here is 0 0.263 as I'm recording this video. Uh, if you've got an older ROM set, then we can look down on the panel just here on the right hand side and let's just say for example you've got a 0 0.78 rom set so we're going to be looking at running those games in that rom set using the libretro main 2003 core and so on so it's pretty simple to establish which one you're going to use uh, like i said if you're using the latest rom set then it's going to be main current if you're using 0 0.78 for example then you would use Libretro Main 2003. So now we found out what's what there, what we're gonna do is go into the Project Arcade directory. If you don't have it on your desktop, I've got a folder just here. This is the directory for it in my case. You can actually click on your Project Arcade shortcut. Just right click on it, go down to open file location and here we go. So what we're going to do then, first of all, is go into the ROMs folder. If we go into the ROMs folder, what we're going to do is just scroll down and we're going to find main just here. Let's go inside of there. And here we go. Now, Project Arcade, it's already got a game with it. It's Pong. It comes as standard. So what we're going to do is just drag our games inside of that ROMs main folder. Now, it doesn't matter which ROM set you got. They're all going to go in this folder regardless, even if you're using a very old ROM set. So I'm going to go into my games folder. Uh, these are three games from the latest ROM set of meme. I'm going to just drag and drop them in there. And that's it pretty much. You're good to go. Now, if you've got one of the ROM sets of meme where it comes with CHD files, then once you establish which emulator or core you're going to be using in Project Arcade to support your ROM set, technically you would go into BIOS and in the BIOS folder, we have got lots of different main folders. If we go for main just here, let's just say, for example, you're using one of the latest versions of main ROM set. You're going to have CHD files to go with the dot zips. Your CHDs should go into the samples folder. So all of your dot zips are going to go into the ROM's main folder, whereas your dot CHDs will go into the BIOS main samples folder. So anyways, we're going to open up Project Arcade. And here we are then. So if we just scroll over, what we're going to do is find main. It says four games at the top. And bear in mind, I put three in. It says four because, of course, it comes with Pong when you install it for the first time. So what we're going to do, first of all, is actually download some artwork. If you're new to doing this... Very easy, just open up main menu by pressing start on your controller and go down to scraper. And once we're here, if you are brand new to it, just go to scraper settings, enter your username and password at the bottom, and just remember you need to sign up with screen scraper to get those details. And what we're gonna do next is just ensure that the scraper settings are to your preferences. Mine's already set up, and I'm gonna go to scrape now. So as we can see, the artwork's now scraping for these games. So we got Shinobi, and that's it. It's as quick as that. So it's going to say update game list to apply changes. From the main menu, just scroll up to game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go. So we got the artwork for Golden Axe. 
artwork for Mercs and artwork for the very awesome Shinobi. Now we can actually download some different themes. This would have downloaded some preview videos more likely. To do this, what we're gonna do is go out and into the main menu again by pressing the start button. Let's just go down to updates and downloads. And if we go to themes, we can then download a different theme which might provide us with a preview video so one of these i'm gonna suggest doing is going to be es theme reload if i download this one just press a that's what i'm doing on my xbox controller and a to install Okay, so that's been installed, like it says, and what we're going to do to apply that is just go to main menu by pressing start, user interface settings, go inside of here, and then we're going to open up theme set, and you'll find your new theme just here. So if I select the one I've just installed, and if I then press B to come out, and here we go. So we've now got a wheel on the right hand side, and if we go into main... As we can see, we now got preview videos. So obviously themes vary and you've got different options even on themes. For example, if I open up user interface settings, theme configuration, I can then play around with things just here, just very briefly. So wheel position, for example, I'll put this on the left hand side rather than the right. Select, come out by pressing B. And here we go. So we can do things to make the themes look very different. Anyways, going back to main, what we're going to do then is by pressing select button, that's going to open up view options. If we go to the bottom, advanced system options, we got emulator just here. Now, this is what I started the video with. Depending on the main ROM set you got, this is where you're going to determine which Libretro or Retro Watch Core is going to power that game. So if we leave this to auto, it's going to select the next option down. And as we know, main current is the version of main you want for the latest main ROM set. Whereas something like main 2003, like the wiki link for Retrobat said just a minute ago, main 2003 would support 0 0.78 main ROM sets. So in this case, I'm going to leave it to auto, which is automatically going to read from the Retro main current. And if we open up the game just to test. Okay, so if I just come out of that by pressing my hotkeys, and just remember, if you're not sure what hotkeys are, check out the initial setup guide for Project Arcade. Now, as we can see just there, the game is playing really well. Nothing wrong with it, but we can actually make this look a lot better and more arcade-like if you wanted to. Uh, if we actually go back to main menu and then scroll down to updates and downloads, if we go down to the bezel project, we got a selection of bezels to download. So I'm going to download and install main. If I just install this. Okay, so Bezos installed successfully. So if we just come out of here, what we're going to do next is open up the options menu whilst we're in main again. And this time we're going to go down to advanced system options. From here, if we go to shader set, we got various different shaders, which is going to make our main games look either good or worse. So something to make arcade games look is obviously scan lines. Now, if I use scan lines, I'm next going to go to decorations. If I go to the bottom here, decorations, I can now see the bezel project because I've just downloaded this. So if I apply the bezel project, and I'm actually going to take away scan lines just to get the full effect of what I've just downloaded. So if I open up another one of my games, let's go for the awesome Shinobi. And here we go. So we now got the awesome bezel project on the site. Mission one.
Okay, so if I just come out of that, and what I'm going to do this time is go back down to Advanced System Options by pressing Select button for View Options. And this time, if I go to Shader Set and I say Apply Scan Lines, what I'm going to do is go back into the game again. And here we go. So we now got more of an arcade look, more aesthetic. Be pleasing for arcade fans Mission out there as we can one. see. Damn, I played the hell out of that game as a kid in a particular arcade in a holiday camp. I spent a lot of that holiday playing this game. Very good game still. So other things we can do then, under advanced system options, we can play around with different video settings. Of course, we can go to internal resolution and we can upscale this internally to say 4K, uh, which in some cases might not be so beneficial because obviously these old arcade games are pixelated and by turning up internal resolution it's going to make that even more pixelated in some cases if we go to visual rendering what we're going to do is next up apply a video filter so we've got extra scan lines just here which are some use in some games others might not be so looking so good so if we're going to go to visual rendering and apply scan lines from here We've also got shader set scan lines selected, so by using both of these might be a little bit overpowering. If I go to game aspect ratio, then we can actually change ratio sizes. Now just bear in mind, if you're using the decoration or say the bezel project, it's obviously using the sides which are normally black. So if you want to stretch the image to say 16 by 9, your gameplay is going to be obscured by those bezels. So for bezels, which I'm using at the moment, just make sure this is to auto, which is technically the standard aspect ratio anyways. If you want to go to 16 by 9, just make sure that you turn the bezels off. Now, I'm always going to say this, but if you're having issues displaying your game, your game, you can hear it, but there's no visuals, just go down to Drivers, Video, and change your back end over by auto it's running from OpenGL, which is fine for me computers are different so if you do face this issue try something like vulcan or direct x version now we're talking about video settings in general but we can actually do this per game so if, say for example you want shinobi to look one particular way we can actually set this so only shinobi shows with those specific settings if i hold down the a button on my controller this setting I've got just here, or these settings are literally just for this game. So if I go down to advanced game options and play around with some video settings. So for example, I'm going to put curvature on and I'm going to randomly select 16 by 15. Now what we're going to do is open up the game. And here you go. So very random settings. But what this is telling us is that these video settings have now been applied to Shinobi and Shinobi only. If I go into Golden Axe, these settings are still the standard or default settings that I've made for every game. So, of course, we can actually change these settings for Golden Axe as well. All we need to do is press A button for a few seconds, which brings up the panel on the side advanced game options and then we can play around with video settings for golden axe now as of now i don't actually own a light gun but it's something i'm going to be buying very soon if you happen to have a light gun say you're playing alien the gun or t2 the arcades game just go down to guns enable gun make sure this is on light gun mode you would literally select light gun and the first game I tested was Mercs. Now, particular old school arcade games are vertical. So if we go back into Mercs, and what I'm going to do is just make sure, advanced game options, everything here is selected as default, including the bezel project. If I open up this game again... And 
And of course we go into Gordon Axe and we'll likely get the same. And that's it for today's project arcade and main setup guide so various video settings to look and just remember if you're getting a little bit confused over which core or emulator it's on a project arcade which supports your ROM set just remember I'll leave the link in my description so you can look at the columns itself and you'll be able to determine which core works best with which ROM set you're using and also if you're new to project rk just remember i've done the initial setup guides which i'm going to leave a link in my description for that one too so you can get up to speed of what exactly project rk is anyways if you like today's video hit notification subscribe and like so you don't miss our upcoming retro emulation content also join me on social media i'm on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok but until next time stay retro